I've learned a lot over the four decades of health and fitness and being in the trenches with the greatest in the world. And one of those things I've learned a lot more about and how to build better muscle is nutrition and how it has changed over the decades. And that's why I have the Titan meal plan for you guys out there that are confused about nutrition. I'm going to set you straight. Get a hold of me today. The link will be in the comments down below for you guys. Everybody, get over to the Titan Meal Plan, and I'll see you in the Titan Crew, where I will fine-tune any difficulties that you're having. I know that uh, one of the big things is, is blood work. Blood work, why blood work, sure. and how to understand blood work. Uh, can you take a portion of the blood work to kind of go over or kind of give the gist of how would I, Joe Blow, uh, get this blood work. And now I got sure. these numbers and stuff. I don't know what this means. Yep. And then I call my provider. Mm -hmm. Do they just tell you what you need to do or, or do they explain in more depth so you can kind of understand this? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So blood work, right? So, you know, tight medical centers in depth blood work panels are different than your general practitioner and who you go see like for your physical blood work. Right. And when we talk about that physical blood work, like our regular general practitioner blood work, when you go in is usually like a CMP, it's a comprehensive metabolic panel. And there's 14 different tests just in that one. Um, but the main things you're looking for in there, like liver, kidneys, electrolytes, making sure, you know, glucose levels, fasting are in there and just seeing what that looks like. And that's usually what a general practitioner wants to see right away, because those are vital organs. These are very essential and they want to make sure that everything's all right. Um, you know, after that, they usually run like a cholesterol panel, a, a lipid panel, and that's telling you total, total cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL, LDL, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol ratio. Um, after that, you know, they're really not running too much more. So, you know, maybe a complete blood cell count, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit. But what you really want to start looking at is, you know, different things, maybe a PSA, like especially for males, um, obviously, because we're the only ones that have, have prostates. Um, but at that point, like this is essential because you can catch things in the early advanced stages possibly. So if you do possibly have prostate cancer and you're in stage one, this is going to help you, you know, get known that, Hey, listen, there's a problem and I need to get this fixed. And that's when you go to urology and go through that process. But after that, like free and total testosterone levels, I think that's essential. And I think that, you know, that might be overlooked by a lot of practitioners out there too, as well, because usually general practitioners are running just a total testosterone test on a patient. So, you know, that's great. We're looking at, you know, what the total is, like we've talked about a million times over. And that total can be great. It could be at 860 per se, and the scale is 264 to 916. That's great. Still has low T symptoms. Why? Because maybe the free testosterone is not there. And that wasn't even looked at. It wasn't even correlated. So, I mean, even if that was just a problem. So, you know, these are tests that you need to make sure that you're looking at and make sure that you want to get together. So if, if a doctor says, yeah, I'm going to run a testosterone test. Am I going to get a total and a free testosterone test with that in the readings? And they'll say yes or no, if they really know what's going on. Um, you know, you're looking at estradiol through there because that's, that's a main hormone for, for males and females. But we look at that hormone specifically because that is the one that really affects us males, right? So we want to look at that. Progesterone. This is something that males and females both have. We all have the same hormones, but different levels. So progesterone, we do need a little bit of. Um, so you want to look at that and make sure that level is good too as well. IGF-1 levels, growth hormone levels. This is key, right? Because we know over time, your growth hormone levels, just like your other hormones, are going to start declining. And then deficiencies happen. Um, and everybody's number could be different right now. So, you know, I've seen people at my age, at 43 years old, I look at their IGF-1 level right now on paper, and it's at 89. And the bottom of the barrel is 85. So yeah, they're not clinically deficient, but they're, they're at the lower end. And I've seen people clinically deficient too, as well. Most people come back in the middle of the road, you know, and no, no matter what their age is, but this is something you want to look at because if this is low, this could be the, the root of the problem to some of the yeah. issues that you're having. And this could be causing you not to recover quicker, not to sleep well, or you to age prematurely. And if we look at this and we fix this, it can turn things around. So that's really what it's about. It's really about looking at these different things. I mean, you can add on more tests like hemoglobin A1C, which I think is a, a, a good test for everybody to know if they're pre-diabetic, type 2 diabetes, or where their average of three months and their glucose levels are. Um, and then you can go on and on, right? I mean, we can get really crazy. We can test all, all the amino acids in the body, 
one test for you. It's that time again to get my blood work done to see where my numbers are. Again, the one big thing for me is I'm keeping track of it it's so precise. You know, I competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting and martial arts, but that was all over decades ago. And so how can I continue to keep this physique and be this strong at this stage? And so that is by optimizing my health with Titan Medical. It all stems from one thing, your blood work, what's going on inside of you. And that's the main thing that I'm focused about is see how I can continue to not just be in the game. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a weekend warrior. I don't want to say you got a dad bod. I want to be the pinnacle of the health and fitness industry decades after I competed. And I've always said this too, you got so many of these guys that were with me in the 80s and 90s and they keep putting the pictures up from the 80s and 90s. I don't want to be that guy. I like the fact that I can still put up pictures of me today, even though I won the universe back in the 90s. That's the goal for me. I don't know what your goal is, but I can tell you this. I know you want to live and I know you want to live your best life. And that starts with blood work over at Titan Medical. Start today. You were talking about the family doctor and what they test on. And then you were talking about what you guys test on, and then you can add on to your test. And it's like, it's interesting. I don't know if the viewers know this, but you test for a lot of things and you can still yep. go more. Yep. A doctor is really basic. And, and it's interesting because when I work with somebody online, I try to ask for those kind of things and they go, oh yeah, I got my doctors. And I've never seen to this day, just a family doctor practitioner send over their blood work with a with the free. It's just the total. And I'm like, it's 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 so interesting. Again, I'm not the I'm not the Einstein of blood work, but I yeah. do understand the basics that a free is so important to the total. Very Again, important. And and in what's and I've been in this industry long enough to meet power lifters that are so freaking strong and their testosterones are not crazy. They're in the right. fours and fives, right? Right. 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 Threes at that 24 to 30 range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're really using everything they got. And again, um, to me, I know that that sounds wild that somebody can be so strong with that T level, but again, it's the cor correlation with both. And then everybody is different again. Mm -hmm. um, I know that it'd be great if everybody could be at eight, nine, you know, yeah. range a Clark Bartram yeah. a thousand at sixty yeah. Yeah. is be amazing. But again, a family doctor's, in my opinion, is not going to get you to understand your body as well as Titan Medical. And then, as you learn as the viewer or the patient, or the, you know, for me, I'm really trying to learn this, and it's a couple of years in, and I'm still just a baby understanding this. And I, I believe you should learn this. Don't just chalk it up. This is your health. Yeah. And, and you want to know the reason you want to know the reason yeah. why your, your general practitioner will not write those tests? I do not know. There's two reasons. One, they take insurance. And with insurance, anything that you run on somebody, you have to produce an insurance code to bill it. That code is directly linked to some sort of possible diagnosis. So they think, oh, low energy level is this. Uh, okay, we'll test for testosterone. We'll test for thyroid. Now this goes in. If your insurance company says, we don't think you should run that test on that person, it gets kicked back and not to the doctor. It gets kicked back to you to pay. So that's one thing, restrictions on what they can run on you. So when you go into a doctor and you're like, hey, listen, run all these tests on me. They're not just going to run all these tests on you. There's got to be a reason why they got to run these tests usually. And at that point, if they don't produce those codes, you're on the hook for a big bill. And if those codes do go through, right, and right. you come back, and let's say there is a problem. Now, that problem is permanently documented with your insurance company. With us, it's not. So that's one benefit going with us. But who cares? You want to get fixed. There's a problem here. It is what it is. Now, if it's testosterone, most insurance companies want two clinically deficient readings before you can get prescribed testosterone so that means that you have to have two underneath 264 if they're going through lab court so at that point if you don't get those you don't get testosterone so it really does restrict the patient and what they can get 
and it restricts the provider on what they can do. And the second reason providers usually don't do it is because it's out of their scope. They're uncomfortable doing it. They don't run these tests normally. So when they get the results back and they have to explain them to you, they don't want to have to do that research. So at that point, they're not just going to run tests just, just to run them. Like most doctors now, if you ask them a question, they go to their phone and they start looking in their little doctor Bible that they have. And this tells about all medications, all diagnosis. They literally tell it in there. It's got AI that runs it. It's crazy. So that is the back end on why you usually won't get blood work done by a general practitioner. There are some cool ones out there. They'll be like, you know what? Let's just run it. You know, they don't care. So there are some cool ones, but most of them and the older ones, no way. So we just finished one movie um, and turned out great. I am loving it. I love the dailies that we see. On to the next project. If you finish, you keep going, you keep trying to go. That's, I guess, a, a better way to say it. And this next movie that I have booked, this is gonna take all of me. This is gonna take uh, um, Slice to the Bone, um, all the character development, but also I need to be able to move and grow and keep that strength uh, through this process. You'll understand why that is after you see the movie, but keeping the strength is key when you're dieting. And so I'm going to show you how to do that on Power Bodybuilding. You guys have a great day and I'll see you over there. Yeah, if it goes on to your record, I, I know that maybe that raises up your insurance. And I know that uh, I found out this last year that if you have an injury or something, you probably don't want to get that uh, registered because it does something to your life insurance as well. Yep. So I was like, oh, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. So yeah. there's... I understand if you guys are out there and you understand that stuff better than me, then you understand why you probably don't do that. But what I love about Titan Medical is beyond affordable to get your blood work done. Yep. And then also it's private. And then also you'll be able to go over with your practitioner. Well, I don't know about you guys. I've never had a doctor in the room that's willing to sit there with me for 20, 45 minutes to go over this discussion of my illness or whatever I'm in there for, where their practitioners at Titan Medical will sit there and talk to you until you are satisfied with your, your results and what's going on and what you need to do to move forward. So I think that's a, that's a clear win, win again. Yeah. That's, um, and you think about it. We service nationwide. So anywhere you're at, anywhere in the, in the United States, we can send you in for blood work or you can utilize our services. So it's very simple and easy to do. Right. And you can order that scream cream right there anywhere in the United States. So just want to take you back to the beginning of the show if you That's missed right. that. Now That's you're right. caught up. <laughs> that being said, um, could you give us some basic symptoms that the elementary understanding of diagnosing myself to mm -hmm. going, okay, maybe it's time for me to get my blood work and, and, and start TRT. Yep. So, you know, if anything's off, anything seems like it's just out of whack, right? And you're like, man, this, this seems weird. Or one, let's just go through this. Energy. If you have low energy levels and you're going to bed at night and you're getting sleep, if you're not sleeping good, your sleep patterns are off. This could be a big effect. Foggy thinking, mental clarity. If that's not there, you're always thinking, you're like, man, that word's on the tip of my tongue. This is happening to you all the time. This is something that you need to look at. Your body. So if you are exercising or doing any activity and you're still accumulating body fat, but it used to work back in your 20s to be able to exercise like this, eat like this, you think you're, you know, you got a good diet and it's not working, then at that point, this could be a red flag for you. Um, ED, and I don't bring that, I bring that one up last because, you know, a lot of people think that testosterone is directly you know, directly connected to erections, but people that have low testosterone can still get erections. So that's like, you know, that's up in the air, but if ED is an issue, this is something that's a major red flag, right? If you have depression and you have nothing to be depressed about, everything's good. Got a good job. Great. You know, family, got a car, got everything you want, but you're Live still in America. down. This is something that could be directly affected to low testosterone. Um, these are the major things that I would say somebody needs to look for in their body. If you think that you're aging prematurely, right? You're three years old, but man, you look like 50. 
then at that point you'd want to get some blood work to see what's going on. You know, if your skin turns yellow, face, jaundice, like you, you want to get a, you obviously want to get a blood test to see what's going on. So like, that's why I said, if anything's out of whack, because you know your body more than anybody else does, you're living in it every day, all day. So you should know what's normal and what's not normal. And as we age, things start changing. People can develop allergies after so many years to different things. It's crazy how that works. But, you know, it's just the way the body is. So, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you're looking out for any symptoms or anything that's off and make sure that, you know, you get to the root of the problem, not just covering, you know, the symptoms of the problem.